So what's going on guys? How we doing out there? Let me uh, send this off because I'm forgetful. So now I'm done. Hey, what's going on? TJIF. Wow, the mic's running a little hot today. I'm gonna dial that back. There we go. That's better. So TGIF made it to yet another weekend. How you guys doing out there? Let me know what's going on. So, um yeah. <laughs> I don't have a ton new to show, which is kind of sad because it's been a week since I was hanging out with you guys. But part of it, well, part of it is because Unity is being Unity. And part of it is because I'm trying to get all the stuff lined up. But, um, yeah, so, you know, as I've said before and I'll say again, using the Unity uh, 2D tiles, right, and the rules stuff, which it's still, I guess it's still a preview package. Uh, at least the rule stuff, right? That's still preview. It's not integrated. And, um, yeah, it, it kind of will bite you in the butt if you're not careful. Uh, all I did was simply add another tile to my collection, and it broke everything. <laughs> uh, here, I'll illustrate the point here. Let me come up into underground tiles. So come in here to this guy. So... Uh, no, actually, I guess it was background. Let's see. What was it? No. No, actually, I guess it was because, let's see. Let me come back in here. Let me go into my underground tiles. So, um, no, that's even stranger because actually I didn't really change anything in underground tiles. I did it to the lava tiles. I did change lava tiles, which actually even broke my regular uh, underground tiles, which is even crazier if you think about it. So what I did is uh, space stuff out and um, <clears throat> added a couple new things, just a couple of minor new pieces just to help things uh, go together. And what I realized, if, for anyone that ever uses this tile stuff, man, my suggestion is just make sure that there's something in every square. Even if you're not using it, just, you see what I did here? I dropped a dot in all these little squares here. Uh, if not, it'll basically kind of curtail the, the selections, right? And if you ever try to mend it, it just throws everything out of whack, which is even funnier because what I'm realizing, I don't know why I didn't pay attention at the time, but it not only broke the lava stuff, but it also like broke this one as well. Start throwing up random textures and stuff like that. So. Anyways, I had to go back in into the uh, underground lava and basically rebuild this whole thing. I had to do that from scratch. And then that also meant going back into all the, the scenes, <clears throat> excuse me, and making sure that it corrected itself, which it didn't. Some of them had to do manually. And on top of that, the uh, collider, uh, the composite co collider broke as well. So long story short, if you want to use tiles, in Unity, which is a great feature, especially when they get it working totally, uh, by all means, because you have no way, here's the thing, you have no way of just manually creating a new tile, right? The only way you can slice tiles is letting it automatically do it, you know, one way or another. So, you know, you have to fall back on that, and once it does that, it renumbers everything, right? If you put in a new tile anywhere, everything gets renumbered from that point on, and it just completely screws everything up. So anyways, my point is, is just make sure that every tile is active, even if you're not using it. So that way, if you need to make adjustments, uh, then it's not going to break everything. So that's a long-winded way of saying I lost uh, a couple of days with trying to just simply repair <laughs> what this program did to me. But the uh, good news is it's all done now. So And then from that point, I moved on and started switching back over to the uh, Canyon tiles. Right, and at that point, uh, I had a little bit set up, but I didn't. What I had actually was, if I come back over here in my canyons, um, yes, yeah, so what I had was just these guys, right, which is just the manual pieces, right, which meant that if I wanted to build a level, I had to do it, you know, tile by tile. So then I came up with the uh, automated tile, right, the, the rule tile, which is great, but, you know, as I've shown before, that's it's very limiting. And especially I have you know, like permutations, which I do, which means that I have to go back in and make all these little offset versions, right? And uh, if you've watched the earlier streams, you've seen me do that. And for the most part, I think I've got most of them in place. I'm not going to hopefully subject you guys to that today. 
What I'm hoping to do is actually build some oh, new levels. There's an interesting concept. But, um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, anyways, uh, let me check. And then I, I, I get this. I get a ton of errors every time I switch in this. This is because uh, the rules got forked, and I think I downloaded the wrong version. It doesn't really seem to affect the uh, the performance. It doesn't really break it, but every time I come back to it, it just it throws up a ton of errors, which is easy enough to get rid of. I just go clear, clear, there. No errors. <clears throat> all right, so, um, yeah, so the key thing was just building out all these things, and what I do, if you come to the canyon, is, so here's my rule tile, right? Oh, that's underground. Let me show you the canyon rule tile. There you go, and this is, if you use the rule tiles, you know that you have to set up all these rules so it knows which tile it should place at what point, right? Simple kind of concept, little kind of convoluted with the arrows and stuff like that. But once you get a hang on it, hang, <laughs> once you get a hang of it, uh, then it's, it's not that bad. But the the catch is if you have like different things. For example, if we look in here, right? I of course have the sharp edge, right? And that's great. But then sometimes I want a flat edge, or sometimes I want a rounded edge. What I would love to see, and it doesn't exist is a feature where I could take this bad boy, right, which is the corner piece, right, I'll bring this over here, right, so it's this canyon corner piece right here. I would love to be able to have, like, multiple iterations, right, if I just click on it multiple times, it'll cycle through different versions of what I want, you know. It has a random feature, which is great, except for the random feature is hard-coded to its position, right, so and it's not really random, and it's really terrible, um, so that's not useful. So in, in the long run, what ends up happening is I have to create versions for all these guys, which I did. So what I have now is I take the rule tile and I do an override. And the override is designed primarily just to override the specific tile that you want to modify. In this case, that corner. But because I have levels that mesh and because I have variations that kind of get screwy sometimes, Doing a regular override where the like a curved or a flat or a concave piece would only override just that one piece doesn't really work. So what I end up doing is just a nightmare pain, but at least it does work. So if I take, for example, a concave top left there. So this piece right here, right? Here's the override. And what I do is I just go ahead and oh is I'm missing a couple here. I don't know what happened there but fix that real quick and sometimes it loses stuff like that I have no idea what triggered that it's 89 there you go so I got those in place so what I did is I just went ahead and down the line right any tile that I overlay on top of it will automatically do this just hard coding it straight into that one so I don't have to worry about it misguessing which tile I'm trying to uh, overwrite and use right so at this point, basically, if I do this, I know I'll always get that piece, except for that. Why did it do it that way? That's interesting. So sometimes it's still doing it. Oh, that's crazy. Uh, I think that's because it was left over uh, from like a previous draw. So no, it's still doing it occasionally, which is crazy because uh, I'm drawing that one and it should never, everything should be here. So it's, it's still doing something weird. <laughs> All right, so maybe it's because I have something on the right side. Yeah, okay, I'm missing a couple in here. Let's see if that's... Uh, let's see what's here. Where is he? Oh, there, he's hiding. 90. There he is. All right. So now, let's see if it airs up again. No, it's still doing it. That's so strange. All right. But I guess when it's side by side, sometimes it triggers, and I have no idea what triggers that. It shouldn't. It should only stamp that little curve piece the whole time. But once again, that's the rule tile just kind of being funky. So it, I think in practice, I'm still going to be okay because I'm only going to be using that in a specific situation where it's going to be fed off of uh, the connecting pieces so anyway so I had to do that for all these you know and I just it's it takes forever it's boring it's old 
But um, so for example, here um, I have like the sidewall, right? And I have the three variations of the sidewall. And you're going, well, why don't you just use you know the random feature? I do. Uh, I have that. So if we come into, let me go into actual level here. Canyon. There we go. Let me back out. Right. So if I do this, kind of draw draw this in a little bit, right? There. Um, yeah, that should be randomized. <laughs> but if you see the, the wall edges here, it's not randomizing for crap, right? Um, actually, it doesn't look like it's doing it at all. And it should, because if we go back into the... We go into my tiles canyon, and this is rule tile. Let's see. And that is left, so left wall. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, I just gave up on it. I just got tired of it, so I ended up uh, just dropping it and just being able to uh, control it. Actually, no, wait, that's, is that, yeah, no, no, that's corner piece. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. We got top. So I guess I didn't. So anyways, just trust me that the randomization is really, well, I mean, here, you can actually see the center. You know, this is randomization in the center, and you see how kind of crappy that is, um, which, come to think of it, I didn't do, so I'm gonna have to generate the center, uh, so that way I can clean this up, right? So what I'm doing now is I'm just kind of coming at, back in here, right, kind of manually adding some of the variations to it, right? And I need to do that with the center. Because you can see, I mean, that's that's some crappy randomizations there, <laughs> you know? Uh, and then you go, well, why don't you just change the settings? I'll show you. That's not gonna do much for us. So if we cut a canyon rule tile, Let's look for our, where is he? Is that not the, no, that's just looks like a centerpiece. And there's another thing that bugs me is the fact that you have this giant, you have this super small icons, right, for these tiles. And you have this select word that fills up the bottom fifth, right? So you can't even tell which tile it is sometimes. Just another gripe. So here we go. So here's my uh, 17, 20, here's my different variations of the randomness, right? So right now I have it at 0.566, but you see if I, look at this, I mean, none of these really look better, right? Um, what I could do, I guess, is, I mean, that's just terrible. Um, it's just, it's doing too many of them. So I guess what I could do is try and trade this off and make like this up to six, right? And then, uh, so 17 should be the correct tile. Yeah. So if I come in here, this should reduce the number of those more detailed ones because I, I want the just the blank one. Oh, it's not actually selecting, is it? There it goes. Uh, I want the blank one to be the most predominant tile there. Ah, keep hitting enter. I need to select it first. There. Okay, so that's a little bit better. That's, you know, I mean, it's still, I mean, look at that. That's, that's, uh, <laughs> there you go. Toss the disc, man. <laughs> uh, yeah. And so, I mean, it's still a row, right? Which is kind of crappy. Oh, nope. That's a miss. Uh-oh. Oh, you're back down to zero, buddy. <laughs> mm. That's all right. Not like we're playing for money. All right. So. Yeah, I mean, so at this point, I could come in and customize, but I can't go back and use these like I have, right? Because if I do this, it just, you know, it breaks the rule tile, right? So I get, like, these gaps. So that means I have to go back in and create these little variations the whole way through. So um, let me do that for all three. I'll put them right here in the middle. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> it's on the wrist. You know, that's it. You know, you can blame me because I was the one that was throwing it for the actual recording, so... You know, you can just say that's my fault. <laughs> How's it going, man? How is how is life on the other side of the pond, as they say? How things over there? Let's see, you're uh, what um, eight? I think you're eight hours ahead of me, so you're like eleven fifteen. Yep. Oh yeah, I gotta fix that. All right, so let me just clean this crap up. Uh, there's a bucket feature, but that's actually more awkward than just doing it that way. It's good. Oh, that's cool, man. 
You uh, play with Unity some more? You still uh, plugging away on that? You got more questions for me? I'm all ears. Or have you already mastered it? You probably like shot right past me. That's a whole week, so <laughs> that's about all you need to shoot right past my skill sets. All right, so let's go back to my Tiles Canyon. All right, so I need to. This is foreground, so let's see background. Right. I don't have a center yet, so we'll just take this guy and rename it Override Center Tile A, like so. And make sure I got it selected. There you go. Yeah, you, you told your friend. Yeah. That uh, told him what that you're you're all in on Unity now. Seventeen. All right. So now we're just gonna go down the whole list here. Uh, he somehow knows more than me. <laughs> well, that's cool. Get him to show you some things. I mean, I, I know I was like, when I first started using Unity a million years ago, I was, I was constantly digging around and yeah, I mean, if I was at a meeting and someone knew anything, I, I just kind of go, okay, why? Why is it doing this? You know? All right. 17. So, sorry, this is going to be boring for a little while, but I got to get these guys done and situated. So, I, I wish there's a way, I, I guess because it is a, just a script, I guess I could like add some kind of feature where I just drop it into the top one and it propagates itself through all of them, but I'm just concerned if I try and mess with the script, I'm just going <laughs> to break it a lot more then it's already broken um, and I haven't looked for an update just because I'm concerned if I try to update it it's just gonna break my entire project uh, let's see uh, all right now we're working together oh, that's cool man that's awesome yeah I'm finally getting to the point where I'm accepting the fact that I cannot do this all by myself um, and well actually you know what I take that back that's a misnomer um, I've I've been using my artist Daniel on and off for a decade who does fantastic work but you know just kind of in a piecemeal kind of fashion but in terms of like really partnering you know and having someone take on a, a large percentage of the work I haven't done that and there, there's about five different reasons and basically all of them are wrong <laughs> they're terrible but I'm finally accepting the fact that you know I've kind of had a, that sort of the catch-22 my argument has always been that I would love to have a bigger crew of people but I need the game to be successful so I can actually pay them because you know people want money you know kind of makes sense right you know mortgage don't pay itself you know but um, <clears throat> and that's that's kind of been my situation is the fact that I, I keep working on the games for myself in the hopes that one of the games breaks out does something significant that can turn around and bring on people but you know I getting the games out by myself just takes you know absolutely freaking forever right there you go Runes, what up, buddy? Welcome back, man. What's new? How you doing? All right, so 17. That's one down, two to go. I'm going to put them right here in the middle. There. So now I can go back in and, like, oop. Let me select the right thing. Platform. So if I grab this guy, now I can go back in and kind of, oops, clean up these guys without breaking the rules stuff. But, I mean, see, look at that. That random stuff is just terrible there. Look at that. Uh, it's how the world works on money. Yeah, ain't it true? I mean, and, that, and that's fine. I mean, I'm I'm not knocking it in any way, shape, or form. You know, I mean, it it's definitely a driver for me. I mean, part of it is also because I love making the games, but part of it is I want to do something successful and you know pay the bills. Uh, remember the guy told you about? Yes, I do, man. What's new there? Uh oh. Uh oh. That's a that's a terrible setup. <laughs> okay. Congratulations. <laughs> okay. So y you mean that you like took a, a blunt object and you know like hit her, right? No, 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 no that's not what you're saying. Okay. Well, uh, congrats. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. Uh, <laughs> okay, that, that's good, man. 
Yeah. Ha having someone there, man, that's all, that's always a good thing, right? I mean, me and the wife have been together. Well, have, we've been started dating in like uh, 03, right? Got married in uh, 05, so yeah. I like the idea myself. I'm very partial to that concept. I got some friends of mine, buddies of mine that are like, you know, perennial bachelors, right? Not sure if they're doing it by choice or being chosen for them, but they say by choice. Uh, is it just me or audio works just on the right ear? Uh, I think it's just you. It should be just you. I, I'm looking at my mic levels, and looks like both of them are bouncing left and right. Uh, Runes, you uh, you from the UK? Um, nope. I don't think so. You'll clarify, but it's okay on other streams. Um, yeah. Um, that's strange. All right. Well. Um, well, can you tell me, how about you, man? Is it, I mean, you get an audio stereo, or you just hear me out of one ear? Not sure. I mean, it looks good. At least according to Streamlabs, it looks like it's stereo. But I don't know if it's Streamlabs breaking. Uh, ever since Logitech bought Streamlabs, man, it's been going downhill. Yeah, that's funny, because that was just a couple days ago. <laughs> uh, just hearing one ear might be me, though. Yeah. Hmm. It works for me. Oh, sorry, buddy. Ruins, man. It's all you. Somewhere between here and there, man. Something's not working. Check your plug. Have you tried turning it off and on again? <laughs> I just like saying that. So, uh, actually, you two guys... Um, so one thing you guys have in common is I think both of you are, are pretty close to the, the same age, right? I think you're both uh, young men. Well, I mean, at this point, pretty much everyone's young compared to me, so, you know, that's, <laughs> that's just, uh, it's just the way it is, you know, but, uh, yeah, I think you guys are in the same range. You're, like, far apart, of course, but, you know, but uh, actually, I guess you guys are close to each other than, uh, <laughs> Ruined. Uh huh. Right. Look at that. Yeah. See, I was right. There you go. I thought you guys were close. There you go. So, Ruins, what else is going on, man? I know, uh, my boob. Is it. I, I didn't ask. I, I forgot to ask you how to pronounce it. Uh, is it. My, my boob? Uh, my bub? Which way is the B U bub or boob bub? <laughs> In school, man, don't envy you that, man. I do not envy you that. Um, you know, I, I'm the first to say that I was a terrible student, man. I, I said it before. I'll say it again. I was terrible. I got. I like to think that it's just because I was bored, right? You know, I was just. Yeah, you know, I was so advanced that I, that stuff like bored me. But you know, reality is, I'm just stupid. <laughs> oh, is it the same? Okay. Yep. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, you know what? Then I mean, I know a lot of people, like, when they get older, especially when they get my age, they kind of go, God, I wish I could go back to, like, high school and, you know, college and all that kind of stuff. No. No, I'm pretty much good at this point. I'm, I'm, I'm having a really good time right now, so I have no interest in, like, going all the way back to that kind of stuff, man. There it goes. Nah, why go back and repeat those same mistakes when I can live in the current time and make all new mistakes, you know? Alright, I got one more to fix here. And then we'll be good. So this one's going to be 23. There you go. And I may come back eventually and add some more tile variations to this, but i got to start building some levels and find out what works and what doesn't and see if I need to expand. Right now, we'll just start with this stuff. Uh, let's see, uh, what what is year 10 in USA grades? Um, it, that would be junior. See, uh, so uh, freshman is nine, 
God, isn't that terrible? It's been so many decades for me that I had to sit there and actually think about it for a second. But freshman year is nine. Uh, uh, sophomore is 10. Junior is 11. And then senior is, is 12, 13, 14, 15. It depends on how many times it takes you to actually get yourself out. <laughs> So yeah, I guess I would be a uh, sophomore. All right. But yep, did the whole college thing. Went to a, a state university. And um, because I am so old, uh, I did not study computer science because basically computer science didn't really exist back then. All they had were stones, and you know, I think they had just invented the abacus, right? So I actually studied film instead. So graduated with a film degree, which did me, yeah, about nothing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, pursued that. Basically, I, it was one of the things that was kind of a weird thing for me because I mean, I knew I always wanted to do the computer stuff, right? But it didn't exist yet. So for me, it's just kind of biding my time. And I worked in film production for a bunch of years in various aspects of film production waiting you know what actually okay i'll say this um you know I, a lot of my film knowledge came from self-education after i graduated from college but you know, i mean it, it was a driving force and then that helped that when i moved out to hollywood and started trying to pursue a, a career in character animation you know the fact that i had the background in film i think uh helped quite a bit <clears throat> ours are just year <laughs> one through 11, 6 from 2, 6 form, thir uh, 12, 6 form, 13, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, we gotta be fancy. We gotta like split it all up, right? So, um, okay, but, um, but I'm assuming that's not all the same school, right? I mean, I, I'm assuming that they don't shove all those years into the, the same building, right? They're in different locations over time. I mean, I just, I have the vision uh, no, they are not. In, uh, no, they don't split them up, or no, they are in the same building. <laughs> that confused me. No, no same or no different. Uh, it's primary school, then secondary school. Got it. Okay. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Wait. Oh, and then, okay, primary, secondary, and then you call it university, right? We call it college because, um, I have no idea. <laughs> we call it college because they tell us to call it college. But, um, but yeah. So I did, I moved, uh, from coast to coast. I moved out to Hollywood, out in, uh, back in 2000 and started working pretty much right away but uh, I've been doing it ever since <clears throat> were colleges expensive back then um, you choose a six uh, sixth form or college then university oh gotcha okay um, to answer your question uh, no no actually college has become exceptionally more expensive now than it was back then uh, for me also because of the fact that I was going to a state college oh excuse me uh, I was going I was attending a state college and I lived in the state which meant that I could play, pay in-state tuition uh, which basically means that what I pay for my college is comparable to what modern college students pay for their their food <laughs> But would you get what you pay for? No, I'm not. I'm not gonna bag on my university. Ah, uh, no. But yeah, I, I think the prices have blown up uh, significantly over the years. Um, another perk of my wife and I having dogs instead of kids is that we get to spend the college fun like there's no tomorrow. Doing things like going to to Japan for 11 days. There's a perfect example. So, you know. And it also means that when we get old, we got no one to stick us in an old folks' home and not visit us. So, wait. Actually, that's not a downside, is it? See? I'm selling myself in this whole thing as I go along. All right. So, I got those three. I think that's all I need. So, let me fire this up for a second. 
Right. So, yeah, I want to change that. I've got the cracked piece in there. I don't want the cracked piece in there. I'm definitely going to have to make a new piece, I think, just to break that up. But I think all this stuff was pretty much the same as before. Um, yeah, he's doing his bit. Uh, I have added uh, uh, drop shadows, which are actually off a little bit right now. I, I don't think I, I got to re... Because I made a change to the... The, the stupid tiles, it broke all my physics, so I gotta readjust the physics line. So now the, the, the you see the shadow's kind of floating a little bit, but, and it should, you know, it should like drip over the edge, kind of like that. Ooh, all right, I think the physics definitely broken on that one. Let me go in here and take a look. Uh, some people want children just for someone to take care of them when they're old witches, so egotistical. <laughs> yeah. Oh, see, there it is. That's what I'm talking about. See, look at that. That line is broken there. So, oh, yeah, these guys. Okay, let me try this. Let me go back in here and see. This is what I was talking about before with the collider kind of not updating itself. So if we go back into canyons, come back in here. There it goes. All right, so, like, this thing is all funky. So one way to fix it is if I just turn this off and then turn it back on. Oh, it's still broken. All right, I got to go back in and draw the lines on these guys. That's all busted. There you go, man. Good luck. Did not work? Or did I just miss it? Looks right. Exclamation point. Toss disc. Did my dog just blow you off? Or did I just miss your, uh, your go? I looked away for two seconds. All right. So, yeah, this is busted. You can see the line up here is the default. There it goes. Go, Penny. Let's see it. There you go. Nice. Nice. Good toss. All right. So let me go back in to my tiles and fix that right now. So this would be Underground Canyon tiles, like so. Oh, did you do it too soon? Um, it, uh, that might be it. it. You can only do toss disc when it actually appears. <laughs> is this really your dog or what? Yep, that's my dog. That is my backyard. That is my dog. That is Penny. That is her favorite thing in the world is, is throwing the disc. She loves that. All right, so let me come back in here. Sprite in here. It is a uh, mini Australian Shepherd. It, she, she is an, a mini Australian Shepherd. Uh, she is um, a little over two years old now and insanely smart, almost too much, too smart sometimes. Custom physics, there it goes. Uh, a, okay, I have no idea what that even is. I gotta look it up. What is that? No, no, no. I, I, disc is okay. It's the F word. I can't say F R I S B E E. If I say that, oh, there you go. Oh, that's cute. Nice. Is a small spaniel. Oh, okay. It's a spaniel. Okay. I grew up with my parents had cocker spaniels growing up as a little kid. Yeah. So I can say disc all I want to. It's when I say the word frisbee that I get in trouble. She's downstairs, so I can say that. Her hearing's good. It's not that good. Uh, Rosie uses a working dog, particularly in the in, in Dequi. Oh, I, I just butchered that. To lure ducks. They were popular in the 17th and 18th century and appeared in the paintings of Rembrandt and Jan Steen. Cool. That's cute. Yep, very cute dog, man. Very cute dog. Okay. So, what we're going to do here... Oh, no. So... It's like, okay, so alt, middle mouse is the way you move around, but not in the tile editor, just to make it more confusing. She's supposed to hunt ducks, but is terrified of water. <laughs> well, that's okay, actually, because my my Australian shepherd is uh, Minnie Aussie. Uh, she was um, bred to herd sheep, right? But as a as younger dog, she hated direct sunlight. She would, she would like run out in the backyard and then like avoid and then like run over to the shade on the other side of the yard. You know, where she thankfully kind of outgrew that behavior, but that was pretty funny for a while. It's kind of like, 
you would absolutely get fired <laughs> as a you know as a dog that's supposed to herd sheep considering you know you can't even like stand the sun oops no I want this one generate there it goes all right now I got to figure out where this actually is so the line stays consistent all right so yeah, and this is like another thing that bugs me on the tile stuff here, is that I don't have any kind of sense of coordinates, which kind of sucks. So I just kind of have to sort of like eyeball it and hope that I'm lining this up correctly. Let's see. I could start on this one, I guess. There it goes. <laughs> I heard her that time. <laughs> All right, so let's see, he goes to there. It's a little high, like that, I guess. I don't know, ugh. <laughs> Are you gonna beat the high score? Careful, a couple of misses and you're gonna drop right down. Oh, nice. Look at that, just like whips behind her head there, right behind her body there and snags it without a second thought. Okay. So, yep, that's a little high. There he goes. Oh, you can miss? Oh, yeah, absolutely you can miss. I, you're very fortunate that you haven't yet. And when you miss, you lose 20 points. See, I'm afraid to go now because I'm, I'm figuring, like, law of averages. Uh-oh, see? Let's see if we can get a demo of that right now. Come on, Benny. <laughs> Oh no, look at that. You're rocking it. Uh oh, you have to 50 points. Oh no, we're tied. Uh oh. Alright. <laughs> yeah, that's that's like, you know, five clicks on the Russian roulette. Uh your turn. Mm, yeah, no. Um I'm gonna just watch your No 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 no, please. I, I'm sure I'm sure she's got one more catch in her. Come on, man. Show me up. You're on a roll. Come on, you're hot. You don't want to stop now. Come on. <laughs> oh, I hope any. <laughs> Here's the build up. Here we go. Oops, sorry. Oh, no, I'm definitely not doing it. Nuh-uh. I'm going nowhere near that now. Or maybe it's broken. Maybe she's just going to catch it 100% of the time now. <laughs> Easy game. <laughs> it's rigged. Whoever made this, man, they've rigged it. That's crap. Apply. Oh, here we go. And... There it was. Penny's not happy. <laughs> All right, here we go. Sneak in there. <laughs> oh, I did it too soon. Yeah, it only accepts it when the uh, the message is up. I kind of ignore all the other times. So I don't get like five people doing it at the same time. Here we go. Boom. There you go. Nothing but net. There he goes. <laughs> oh, look at that. We're tied, man. Ooh. Yep. I think it's Rune's turn again. I think he's due. Nope. Look at that. And he's got a touch. No, nope, you gotta wait. <laughs> you absolute beast. All right, now do it. Yeah, I just have a simple command. It just, you know, if if someone requests it and it's not, uh, it's still doing the other. It just sort of ignores it. <laughs> it's so rigged. <laughs> Alright, man, try your luck again. 
All right. So yeah, I'm gonna test all these out. Generate. I think that's right. Like that. I just, I so wish there would just be some like little info window here, so I could hit, you know, coordinates and that kind of stuff, so I could just get this perfect. You <laughs> got five or more. All right, I feel good about this one. Here we go. Look at that, pretty. Nice. There you go. <laughs> She's ready for more. Seven in a row. Now you do it. <laughs> now my mood just went. Now it's your turn again. I'm busy. I'm working. I'm so gassed. <laughs> you distract me. Try to make sure I don't get any work done. Oh, here we go. And, and, and. Oh, look at that. That's like a line drive and she still got it. She's amazing. <laughs> Absolute unit. Uh, all right, I can do all these bad boys. Oh, you know what? Actually, I think I had this down. I did. Crap. I'm doing this in the wrong spot now. Ugh. All right, that's in the right place. Jeez, man, you got the touch. I don't know how, but you hacked my game that I made. Alright, there. That should be good. <clears throat> Alright. Oh, that wasn't even close, man. He choked. No, but you're still in the lead. <laughs> there you go. I gotta reclaim the lead. Ah, oh, look at that. A thing of beauty. Uh oh. I broke it. <laughs> well, crap. Sorry about that. Let me restart it. It's rigged. Obviously. I, I regained the lead and I didn't want to lose it, so I just broke it. That's it. Let's try this again. Oh, no, it doesn't want to show up. All right. Let me fix this. Done. There we go. And we're back. <laughs> Rest in peace. Yeah, it was, man. It was, a, it was a very clean catch, wasn't it? I was pretty happy with it. Oh no. Sorry, Runes, man. You're going the wrong direction now. <laughs> she just throws it down. There you go. Bad toss, and she still pulled it off. What a dog. All right, you know what? Actually, I'm thinking about this crap. I gotta fix all these, don't I? Because I lost all the physics. God, that's another thing that just drives me nuts. Uh, so I gotta do the, the sidewalls for this as well, not just the top. Oh, crap. Wish I could automate this somehow. Yeah. 
Nope. Man, you're going the wrong direction, buddy. <laughs> I <hate my> life. <laughs> That's all right. She just put it this way. She knows who feeds her, right? She knows where her her dog food comes from. So, you know, I'm not trying to say it's rigged, but you know, maybe. Yep. Too soon. Or she's just ignoring you now. There you go. Hey, the beer phantom. Welcome, man. Welcome back. How's it going? What has been happening, man? It's been a while. I got some guys here uh, just having a good time playing catch with my dog. I had 20 packs of dog food on your actions in my B2. Careful, careful what you're offering because we have to get her like the expensive dog food because she was defective as a puppy. So you don't understand how much money you're putting yourself on the line for, man. You might want to reconsider. <laughs> That's an expensive bet, man. And I, I live in Vegas, which means that that bet's legal. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Uh-oh. He's closing in. Oh, I, I, uh-oh. There he goes. I gotta try and keep the lead. Yeah, there we go. Come on back, baby. Nice catch. <laughs> Wait for it. I know. It's hard to be patient. Now do it. There you go. How's the game coming along? Uh, really well. Um, I'm working on the second world. Oh, look at that. Uh-oh, he's catching up again. Let me hit, I'll hit apply here. Let's see. I'm. I, you have to refresh my memory. I'm not sure what you saw... And the last time, uh, you know what? Here, I'll I'll bust out levels. Uh, let me go uh, scenes underground. Save. You, you give you a quick showing here. Um, lots of things here and there cleaned up. Oh, whoops. Let me. That's world two, which I'm working on right now. But I got these little hard code values in here. Let me fix that. There. All right, try that again. Where the, the lava is rising up from the bottom of the screen. Okay, yeah, those are in place. Hey, Subtex! Long time to see, man. Welcome. Hey, what's up? All right. So, uh, yeah, lots of little things here and there. Uh, I just recently added the drop shadow, and I also added this. So now when you hang over the edge, a little trouble leans over finally. Uh, what's up with the audio? Uh-oh. Are you having issues as well? Uh, nice touch. Thanks, man. Uh, is it just coming out of one speaker? Because actually Runes was saying that, that it was only coming out of the right side, which I have no idea why, because I'm seeing both. But then also uh, someone else was saying that their audio was playing fine. So I'm not sure if it's just Twitch messing with me, because they like doing that kind of stuff. Too loud, too compression. Really? Oh, okay. Well, let me hear. I'll d let's see. I'll, I'll dial down the mic a bit. How about that? Um, the voice is distorted. All right, guys. Uh, really? Shoot. Okay. Uh, let me. Let's see. Yeah. Ever since I did an update. Okay, I'm gonna. I'll pull the mic way down. How about this? There. How about now? Is that better? Probably have to pull the uh, music back down a little bit as well let me know if that sounds better guys sorry about that I didn't realize it was distorting so yeah so now if you go over the edge he kind of does that bit now I'm too quiet <laughs> okay <laughs> all right 
So if one group is totally distorting and one group is going, I can't even hear you, dude. Okay. Uh, all right, here, I'll split. Uh, maybe because I, I dialed down desktop audio and the mic at the same time. Uh, you don't think it's a volume or gain thing, really? It's like you're picking all the time. Yeah, I'm looking at the bouncing, and I'm I'm barely I'm going in the green. I'm barely touching the yellow, so I'm not sure. Uh, all right. Yeah, I I had a uh, a Streamlabs did an update a while back, and it seems like I've been having all kinds of funky issues with that lately. So Logitech, now that you bought them, man, fix this stuff. But you're very uh, hard to understand, at least for me. Oh, <laughs> Hannibal, what up, buddy? Am I, what, talking too fast, or? <laughs> yeah, I'm a fast talker. You are echoey. Wow, okay. So, so for some of you, I'm distorted. Some I echo, and some I'm too quiet. It's peaking and distorted. Unless I'm feeding back on myself, but I shouldn't be monitoring. Hold on. Properties, let me make sure. Oh, here's why. Hold on. Microphone, God. There. <clears throat> okay. Wait, why did it go to... All right, see if that's better. Now it's distorted. How about now? Because what I realized is that this stupid thing broke again. Quiet. Okay. Okay. And now, right? So, I here's what happened. Uh, I, that's a, pinging a little bit much there. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Streamlabs took it upon itself to modify my mic selection and choose my webcam, which is right right here, right? Without letting me know, I just have this mic, and I had the wrong thing. So, thank you, Streamlabs. So, hey, Logitech, you bought it. You broke it. Fix it, man. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, so here's the latest and greatest. They did. Yeah, they just bought it, like, last week for $89 million. So... Uh, I hope Logitech didn't spend all their money on just buying it. I hope they got some money left over to actually fix it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a good chunk of change, isn't it? All right. So what we're seeing here, by the way... Oh, shoot. And I just... I was going to say this is the easy stuff, and that just takes some damage. Uh, I, I have the first section are now easy levels, uh, just to try and get the players up to speed. So I, I got that, and I got like one guy hidden here. Squish, collect some gems. Oh, he's supposed to be hidden. Ah, oh, I gotta fix that. All right, and now I got this thing. Uh, some people were not noticing the fact that there's hidden areas. So I have this little dust that kind of comes off of it to sort of like t tip you off that it's there. <clears throat> Logitech, way to go, says the person who with all Logitech gear for free. For free? How do you manage that, man? Nice. I, I got the webcam. Which was definitely not free. Uh, oh yeah, so okay, so here's bonus room, by the way. So now I have three different bonus rooms. Although this is the same that is the the first one. So I got that right, and then it rises up. There you go. You be uh oh. Well, I gotta fix that, can't I? Uh. Here we go. Uh, you had agreement as much as I can. Nice. All right. Well, you know, I'm always open to agreements. Boom. There he goes. Did I just reclaim the lead? Yes. Even though we're tied, it knows that I'm the one that made it, so it tosses me in the lead there. Uh, Logitech Cam mouse keyboard headset. Nice. Wow, dude. That's That's a great setup. That's really impressive. Congrats on that. Uh, I'm guessing it's for, uh, because of streaming, some streaming love or something like that? Oh, well, yeah, whatever, you don't have to say. But, very cool, man. Oh, I got one guy down here, squish, got him. Another hidden area, right, another can, and then, boom. So I'm, I'm talking, not paying attention, so I'm playing the easy levels, yet I've still taken 
Oops. Oh, crap. Two damage. Oh, that was a little closer than it should have been. There it goes. All right. Where am I at? All right. Oh, there we go. I get one of my health back right there. So you collect 10 cans of the food, and you get a health back. Boom. And the gems, of course, come into play at the end of the level. Toss again. Oh, is it my turn? You you want to just see me lose? Okay, fine. Here it goes. All right, everyone, pause for a second. We gotta wait to see if I screw up. No, I did. All right, runes now owns first place. Uh, did you see the humble unity bundle? I did. I bought it like day one. <laughs> Yeah, um, <clears throat> actually, I'll toss it up here. Um, for anyone else, for my Unity friends out there, check this out. Let's see. Oh, it's over. Oh, shoot, it already ended. Really? No, 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 here we go. It's 2019. No, this one's still around, alive and kicking. All right, is it going to come up? Kind of. All right. Well, anyways, you can go to the Humble Bundle and uh, you can go check it out. Yeah, I bought it. If nothing else, I just bought it for the um, the U Motion Pro. Uh, I was interested in that for sure. Um, but then I started playing with it, and what I was really disappointed to find right from the get go was the U Motion Pro. Uh, I, I was looking at it just today. Uh, oh, and by the way, so in case you missed this before, so these are the power ups. Uh, I can replenish my health there. If I don't run out uh, these guys I don't have them active yet but I'm gonna be implementing them in the very near future you hit that and then you can go on to the next level you have 510 seconds because I was chatting the whole time uh oh progress menu could be oh I, I renamed everything I gotta fix that um, uh, because a doozy oh yeah um, I was looking at that one but yeah I was a little disappointed with the uh, Umotion Pro because you can rotate the bones in the characters but you cannot translate nor scale the bones which to me is everything that's how I make my characters I mean like well here perfect example the the triple here right I'm scaling the crap out of all these joints right the only reason he's getting that squash and stretch is because I am translating those bones and also doing that in conjunction with scaling so if I only have rotate as an option, then I hate to say it, but U motion is kind of dead to me as a tool, unfortunately. So I was really disappointed to see that. But I mean, it's it's a great tool if it does what you need. But in my case, it's not. Uh, write the author. Um, it, it, there's got to be some reason they're choosing to do that because it's actually in the tutorial video, right? They specifically state if you're doing bones, you know, you're limited to only rotation. But yeah, I guess I could fire off a, an email to him and ask him if is that by choice or technical issue or, or what. But yeah, I mean, it, I don't understand why. I mean, it, I mean, I'm you can do it. I'm I'm doing it here, right? Uh, <laughs> there you go. I mean, it, it, it's true of the glommers as well as the trouble and everything else. So, but uh, no, there's a couple things in there too. Uh, I already own the dynamic bone which I'm going to put to use on the triple. there would be some things you can collect and add to it to kind of dress them up. And I want to have the dynamic bone feature to just kind of like animate it so I don't have to worry about doing the uh, animation myself in real time. One sec. Oh, sweet. There you go. All right, so yeah, I just... Uh, if you guys, oh, some of you guys may not have been around last week, and um, I, I'm struggling at work now. <laughs> um, so yeah, some of you guys may not have gotten the, the great news that I announced last week, but the, the cool news is that Triple Troubles has been given the, the nod, the blessing, so to speak, by Microsoft, which means that my game Triple Troubles will be coming out on the Xbox One. And I just got an email to let me know that I, I have access to the Unity now, so I can start doing it proper. Uh, today was awful. Uh, C++ and Linux Raspberry Windows equals hair pulling. 
<laughs> I believe that. Jeez. But uh, so yeah, I'm totally stoked, man. So um, yeah, I'm really excited about the idea of getting triples on the Xbox. Still waiting to hear back from Nintendo. It's been two months since I uh, submitted it to them, and they're still thinking. Yeah. So hopefully I can get good news from them as well, so I can get on the Switch. I'm still gonna pursue Sony. Um, I mean, I'm I'm a developer for them, but I just I I, I know that it's a bigger challenge <laughs> to get it through. Sony than it is uh, some of those other uh, uh, hey Dustin guess what uh, what what's up Hannibal what's the big thing uh, when is your game coming out and will it be free to play uh, oh you saw Joker oh really uh, 48 on Metacritic last I saw um, t uh, okay Ruins to answer your question uh, I'm targeting a, uh, I say Q1, Q2 release, so I'm saying uh, next year, uh, no later than the middle of next year, uh, hopefully much sooner. Uh, I would love to get it in the next, uh, the first few months of 2020, but it may be as late as middle of 2020, hopefully sooner. Uh, it will not be free to play. I, this is going to be a premium title because I have the IP and because I, I, I have a partner that wants to just make the money up front. So I will be charging a premium price up front but that just means that you get the entire game and you don't have to ever pay for it again so hopefully that'll be a good thing uh, I still think premium is an option especially if you have an intellectual property attached to it so fingers crossed that that's actually still a possibility for me um, developing on Windows uploading it to Raspberry and oh gee he's just shooting right past me now okay good job runes <laughs> developing on Windows uploading it to Raspberry and compiling and running on Raspberry has a lot of problems. Yeah, I can believe that. Jeez. Uh, not finding header files, uh, failing to compile because G++ crashed again, stuff like that. Yikes, man. That's That sounds terrifying. Um, yeah, I haven't messed with Raspberry Pi at all. I mean, I've toyed with the idea. Love to, but I haven't really touched it at all. Um, it was a beautifully made flick, really. I don't know if I'm gonna get the, the wife to go along with that one. I may have to do Joker as a red box rental. I am curious. I gotta be honest, I'm not the biggest Joaquin Phoenix fan. Um, not, you know, but I mean, you know, but I mean, from what I hear, it's, you know, it sounds interesting. So I'll definitely give it a chance, probably on red box. Um, hey, if Apple Arcade is doing this well, then I think premium games still have a place on the App Store. I hope so, man. I, yeah, man. I, I fan of mine. I really hope you're right about that, man. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's not going to be much, too. I mean, even though I'm going to be obviously on, on the Xbox, uh, it's, it's still compared to what most of the games are charging, right? You know, Triple Troubles is going to be an absolute bargain in comparison, I think. So, you know, now and hopefully everyone else feels the same way. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just kind of like, you know, killing myself for no reason. Uh, we want to do MRI monitoring on a Raspberry and displaying helium values on an LCD. And I'm the one who was chosen to do it. I'm the only one in the company who can do that, unfortunately. <laughs> Too bad you can't kind of go, you know what? I'm not sure if that's a good idea. <laughs> Jeez, man. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I, I can't even comprehend how complex and convoluted that must be. I mean, especially if you're losing uh, header files, just trying to get it moved over. Yeah, no thanks. But then again, I've never claimed to be a programmer. I'm just a total hack. Excuse me. All right, so so we did a little demo there. So I'm going to come back into my Canyon stuff and hopefully start playing with this. Did I forget anything? or did I? Oh, yeah, no, it was the... Uh, I was working on this stuff, trying to clean this up let's see did I fix any of these guys yet yeah okay I fixed them but he's off so now I gotta go back into the physics make sure they're all lined up yet uh, it's a <laughs> it's a waking nightmare <laughs> I believe it man jeez I mean when I'm doing this on my own at least I, I mean it's just one of the things where I you know I'll get mad at myself but I don't feel any additional pressure right I mean I, I can't imagine if you have a whole team you know and they, they're looking at you as the total bottleneck uh, the game is looking better each stream. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Still working on it. Still got stuff to improve, but thanks, man. That's very kind. Um, 
but yeah, I mean that's that's gotta be totally nerve wracking, right? When you got everyone staring at you, kind of going, "You done yet? You done yet? You done yet?" Don't make me turn this computer around. Oh wait, why did it go over that? I thought it was gonna hit the squish. Yeah, there it is. That's the one. Okay, so that's the first one I gotta fix. Physics. Oh, weird. Por qué? Did I turn that off? Component. Okay, yeah, he's totally busted. Okay, I gotta fix him. Um, now the bigger issue is the cost associated. Oh, yeah. If the application fails, there is a big possibility the company loses, yikes, more than 25K. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's that too, right? Jeez. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to take a break here. Give me one sec. I'm going to do a quick restroom break. The joys of getting to be an old man is that you have to, kind of like a little kid, <laughs> the potty breaks come more frequently. But uh, tell you what, guys, hang tight, and I'll be right back. All right, and we're back. I just realized I should actually add um, a little penny to the. Um, <laughs> I should add her to the uh, the be right back screen, right? So you guys can like toss the the disc. Speaking of which, before he has a chance to uh, shoot past me again. Come on, here we go. Come on, baby. Nice. There you go. Nice catch. Uh oh. I only got 80. Oh, wow. Uh-oh, I'm... Runes is destroying me now. Ugh. That's not good. Okay. So, let's go back into setting our physics on our tiles. So, not underground. We want uh, canyon tiles. Sprite editor. All right. So switch into physics, like so. All right, so let's get back into this. All right, I'm gonna kind of ignore all the other stuff right now. I just want to focus on the top side. I'll come back and fix the sides and the undersides later. But I'm just really interested in trying to make sure that I get all this stuff in the general vicinity. So we'll just focus on that right now. <clears throat> Let me switch this here. There you go. All right. So what's going on with you guys? What are you doing this weekend? Anyone doing anything interesting? I mean, I know I'm going to be working. <laughs> like always. But, um, I don't know. Hannibal thinks I should go see uh, Joker, of course. He thinks it's a, a work of art. <clears throat> Let's see. All right, okay, I'm not gonna worry about that side, just the 
top. So hit apply. It's going to snap way out into the stratosphere once it's done. Unless it breaks. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. Oh, so I missed this. Uh, so uh, try catch will be your your best friend. Oh, okay. Uh, wait. It is. <laughs> Uh, so are you talking about Tricash? Uh, are you talking about if you mess with the uh, Raspberry, or are you talking about doing development for consoles? I mean, because I thought Unity sort of like kind of alleviates some of that nightmare, or am I just about to walk into it head first? No, oh, I guessed right. All right, that's good enough. All right, and we'll do these guys. Oops. Yeah, th this is such a pain. I did this uh, for the other underground tiles, and it, it's just it's you got to do it once just to get it all set up. <clears throat> but. Wish there's some way that you could just have like a, a global setting or something that would just apply to all of them and adjust, but unfortunately, no. Oh, wait, you know what? I think it's probably there. There it goes. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, wait, I forgot to show. Let's see, can you see it? I don't even know if it's visible here. It might be too far over. Let's see. No. No, I added a new item to my collection. Uh, I added a uh, Dr. Smith bust. Uh, ooh, the pain, the pain. And it's 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 funny because it's, it's a really good likeness. You know, hey, you know what? Here. For those old enough to remember, lost in space. There you go. Have no fear. Smith is here. So yeah, I picked this up, and I'm gonna hang it back. Hopefully not drop him. There he goes. <clears throat> so I picked him up, and I was pulling out of the box, and my dogs freaked. It was pretty funny. They were not happy with it. <laughs> they did not find. They were not amused. I don't think they quite comprehend. It's like, wait, it's like a super small human, but where's his body? <laughs> My brain doesn't comprehend what's going on. All right, that's up. Nope, oh, still not there. There. All right, that's good. All right, so we got to do this guy. All right, so this one he's by himself, so I don't have to worry about consistency. Since he's on his own, I'll just put him right here. So you see what I'm doing? I'm doing a total cheat trick here. I'm, I'm lowering the level, so that way when he lands, he, it kind of lands on the middle of the tile. So it looks more like he's kind of resting on top of it. Whereas the, uh, the underground stuff, because of the way it was textured, it lended itself more to being like physically on top of it with just a little overlap. But this one I'm getting a lot more generous with that. So, so like there. And like I said, I still have to go back and clean the sides up, but this hopefully will be enough for just playing around for right now. <clears throat> All right, so we got him, got him. Why? All right. Should probably do these guys too. These are gonna be totally butchered. Oops. Bring them here like that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oops. 
Okay, and then we'll do this guy. And then we'll start playing around just see what kind of shape we're in. Yeah, it's been so long since I've I've done this for the the underground levels that I forgot how tedious this really is. Um, oh, you know what? Actually, I'm going to kind of buffer that a little bit like that. I think I did that. You only have one. I'm trying to make it more of like a, an actual curve. Kind of like so. All right, I know Runes is waiting because he wants me to go again so I can like fall further behind. And okay, I'll take him on it. Here we go. Throw on the disc. Nice. All right. Sorry, just re refilling my drink here for a second. All right. Cheers. Okay, yeah, so we're in October and it's still a little warm here in Vegas. And especially because I got <laughs> electricity, I got all the, the electronic stuff running at full speed, so the room always gets a little toasty. Okay, I think that might be enough just to play with. So let's see where we're at here. So, and I'd done this for the most part. I'd done it before, but once I added the new tiles, it kind of breaks all the physics. Um, you know, because I added all the, I, if you, I don't know if you remember, but I actually had it just as one, but I, since it was stretching out, I kind of like filled in these other guys, but that's okay. So, let's see. So now well, let's go scenes. We'll switch back to Canyon. Uh, in the UK, it's been raining every day. Ooh, geez, that's tough. Rain. I've I've read about that. Um, <laughs> here in Vegas, that's not something that happens, you know, ever. A little bit, a little bit. I mean, it was just what last year there we actually got snow here in winter time. That was a shocker. Uh, like right around Christmas too. It's kind of appropriate, kind of fun. It lasted for like a day and then it was gone, but we had it. <clears throat> All right, so let's go into our levels canyon. All right, so let's start playing here. Let's, yeah, that's still off. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Hannibal, I'm not exactly sure what that means. If that's a, <laughs> in the morning in my school uniform, I hated it. Oh, geez. Yeah. So what, I mean, what you just like? Do you, you wear like a raincoat or like umbrella? Oh, that, that was you. You sent me that. Okay, thanks, man. That was very kind. All right. So that one's still sticking up. Oof! All these guys. Composite. Okay, good. Now let's see. Crap. All right. So that's the one that's sticking up right now. Nope. Actually, so now what I gotta do is because remember I have no way of telling these tiles when they're you know when they're not side by side if I've got them lined up correctly, and obviously I don't. <laughs> so what I need to do, uh, I wear a blazer shirt, tie, and smart shoes. Man, this must get really wet really fast, right? That's pretty. That's pretty brutal. All right, let me check here. All right, so let me see which one looks better, and I'll make the adjustment based on that. That's okay. Whoa. Okay, so I think that those side pieces right there, I think those are looking pretty okay. So we'll let that be sort of our guideline. every day for years oh that's brutal that is brutal uh, all right 
So this guy we gotta hunt down and correct. He is just way too high. So let's go back in toward tiles. Canyon. Oops. Alright, so that one is what we want. Let's see. Oh, it's actually two of them, isn't it? It is. Okay. That should make it easier to find. I think it's those guys. Yeah. All right. So switch back. Uh, in USA, get to wear normal clothes. In UK, everyone has to wear the same thing. <laughs> That's true. I mean, well, there's some schools that that mandate what you can and can't wear. But uh, yeah, I mean, I was I was definitely of the kind that I pretty much wore whatever. Which is kind of a bad thing too. If you look back on some of the, my class photos back in the day, yeah, kind of hard to live those down. Actually, it wasn't as bad. Um, I mean, I I was in I was in school in the '80s, and there were some wacky clothes going on then. So I, actually, the worst thing I did was I did the the feathered hair stuff, right? But clothing-wise, I was pretty conservative. I didn't really do anything goofy. I, I had my one of my best friends in school. He he got all into the whole parachute pants, you know, and the whole break dancing craze. Yeah, <laughs> not a good look. I mean, it's it's nothing that us typical guys could pull off. Put it that way. But yeah, I mean, it's, I was pretty pretty much t-shirt, blue jeans, and tennis shoes then and now. Pretty boring. All right, so that's still off. All right, I'm gonna try that again. I just didn't lower it enough, I guess. It is him, right? Oh, shoot. Nah, that can't be right. All right, I'll be there. I just lowered it four pieces. God, I just, I, I really wish there was a stupid little coordinate kind of system there so I could just do this accurately. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Composite. I forgot. This thing doesn't, that's it. I forgot about that. You have to like unselect and reselect to make this thing actually update. So I'd already fixed it, but I didn't update here. So I didn't realize I'd fix it and overdid it. So we get to go back. But at least I know I'm in the right piece. So I guess that's a good thing, right? So one, two, three, four. There, let's try that. Yeah, so as I was saying, Unity does not make this necessarily easy at the moment. There it is. There we go. Straight green line. Oops. Maybe not. All right, so now he's off. All right, so we're going to use this corner piece as our perfect line. Okay? And then we'll, like, adjust all the other ones to try and figure out what's wrong and what's right. So this guy... And him. And him. all these guys. Okay, so the corner's correct. But this one, which is just looks like it's mirrored. It's the same tile, just mirrored a couple times over. So let's fix him. Let's see, i got to find him first. It, this looks like him. Alright, oh shoot, which way was it? Was he too low or too high? He is too low. Seriously, tile people, give me some coordinates here. Yeah. All right, so one, two. We'll try to nudge it up two. See if that's perfect. Like so like so apply done all right I'm gonna risk it 
Runes is just destroying me, so I'm going to toss the disc again. Come on, Penny. Don't let me down. You want to get dinner tonight? You're going to catch it. There we go. Where am I at here? What's the score? Let's see. Oh, man. Runes is still beating me by 20. Jeez, Runes, man. You were playing the crap out of that. I was sitting there talking away working. Didn't realize you were just, like, completely skunking me. I'm nervous to do it again, too. I think it's due for miss. All right. <laughs> He's going to step up and take one for me. Here we go. Yeah, that should have worked. Uh, oh, no, that's a, a C instead of a K. So it's D-I-S-C instead of D-I-S-K. All right, so I'm going to come up one more. Oh, wait, wait. Maybe I don't. I'm going to go like this. Apply it. And I went up one too many. Here we go. Nice. Good catch. All right. Okay. So let's come back here. So we went up two, but we should have only gone up one. Take one for the team. <laughs> the things I do for you guys. Oops. Apply. There you go. This is not going to end well. I just feel it. Oh! Yeah! There you go. Within striking distance of the leader again. <laughs> Alright. So turn this off. Turn it back on. And he is in perfect alignment again. Good. Alright. So... To do a proper test, let's just get everything. Turn off the background because we don't need him. He's distracting me. Oops. Background. Like that. Good. Uh oh. He's rolling the dice. Oh! Pulls it off. Nice. All right. So just come across here. Like so. Yeah, so remember I was talking about the randomization stuff again? Look at that. That's not random <laughs> to me. I mean, technically, there's like different tiles here, but when you do the same tile, like eight in a row, that's not my idea of random. Whoa. All right, so we got some that are definitely way off. All right, so what we're looking here. So just this guy. Actually, that's cool. It's not too bad. All these look like they're so what I'm looking at is the green line to make sure this is the physics line to make sure that it's consistent all the way across so yeah that's the only bad guy right now oh going crazy look at this mm. nice all right I gotta go in and fix this guy see if I can find him Oh God! It, revert. It, it just you have to use the mouse drag, but then half the time it'll have like one selected and just drag that tile instead. Consistently inconsistent feature. All right. Yeah, he's using runes. Luck. <laughs> All right. So it wasn't him. I don't think it was him. Was it? No. It's this guy. Oh. Uh-oh. Here we go. Wow. Jeez, you are on a roll. Look at that. Okay. So I gotta find him. There he is. There's the culprit. It's going to end soon. <laughs> yeah, but you racked up enough points, I think, at this point that I think you're going to be fine. 
All right, so generate. There it is. I think it's about there ish. Look at that. Jeez. I, I, yeah, I'm terrified to go now. All right. So fingers crossed that's hopefully in the right place. Yeah. Let's see. Turn it off and back on. And it's totally wrong. Really? Do it. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. I'm already like falling out of second place as it is and I know it's the miss is due fine doing it for you guys you're welcome here it goes you ready watch no <laughs> there it is there you go back in first place again where I should be Ooh. <laughs> like covalent bonding. <laughs> yeah, Ruin's just sitting in the background somewhere, just kind of going, "Yeah, I'm not, I'm not touching it now. I got the first place, and I'm not gonna jinx it." <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so I thought that was the correct one, but I guess it wasn't. Okay. Uh oh. Is this the one? Uh oh. Can't watch. No, oh, there it was. It had to happen. All right. So it's not him. So it's this guy. Which I thought... Oh, no, it's not. Okay. So where is he? It's not him. Alright, I literally cannot find this tile. Uh, let's see. Uh, that luck had a, a <laughs> intermolecular force. <laughs> Alright, so it's this guy. Where the heck is he? How am I missing him? It's not him. Definitely not him. Definitely not him. Oh, there it is. Found it. It had to end soon. Yep. All right. Two misses in a row. It could happen. No! See? There you go. You rolls the dice, you take your chances. All right, so this is the guy I should be fixing, which means I probably broke the other one. Let's see, generate. Yep, now I'm back to second place again. All right, no way it happens three times in a row, come on. It's breaking apart, <laughs> there it goes. Yes, we've achieved covalence yet again. All right. Let's see if I guessed right. Apply, close, and... Oh, too far. Okay, just missed by one. That's not too bad. That's okay. But yeah, you see, 
you see how tedious this stuff is, right? Someone is asking me, it's like, why does this stuff take you so long? It's like, oh, if you only knew. If you just watch what I was doing here, you'd see. Bounce. Bounce. There. Apply. Think about it. I mean, it's a monster thing. It's I, I think I'm doing like, uh, oh, it's a 2K. So it's like 4 meg in size. And that's, and that's actually using with compression as well. But, uh, and I'm doing high quality, right? Um, <clears throat> but I, may, I might as well because if I, you know, if I split this up, it's still too big to fit in a 2K, which means that it's going to bleed over and I'm going to have a, uh, or a 1K. It won't fit in a 1K. So I'm going to have a 2K anyway. It's just going to have an empty space. So I decided to consolidate the two. Uh, I'm really doing my science homework while watching your stream. <laughs> is that is that why we're getting the little science references uh, uh, mixed in there? That's funny. Oh wait, oh wait, wait. No way. I, wait. No, it's still down one. No freaking way. I thought I had that. Really? Okay. I guess I was down two. Let's go back. This should be the last one. Come back in here, select, go into physics, move this up one, move this up ah, one, and apply and wait. Yeah, I'm actually uh, pretty big on the multitasking myself, too. Uh, there it is. Now we're smooth. Um, yeah, I'll do that kind of thing where I'm like, if I'm working, I'll, I'll throw up like a, like Netflix or something on my second monitor and uh, just keep plugging away. Um, I, it can't be anything too involved, and I can't do it when I'm scripting. If I'm scripting, I can't have a secondary thing. They're just too distracting. Uh, at almost 1 a.m. for me. Oh, jeez, man. Burning the midnight oil. Wow. See, I was doing homework at 1 a.m., but it's usually like, you know, the day it was due. <laughs> you know? I'm not trying to say I was a terrible student, but no, wait, I already did. I already did say I was a terrible student, so. <laughs> okay, let me see if that is truly everybody. All right, good. So no, no hiccups on that. Excuse me. All right, let me make sure that I've truly got everyone out and if that's the case then I, I think I've fixed the surface um, let me go up my levels again Canyon fire that up well I appreciate you still hanging out man 1 a.m. that's getting late for sure oh, but I, I don't know I don't know what you're uh, you know y you were mentioned that you would normally stay up late anyways but yeah I mean I used to do that when I was younger but you know now it's Oh, <laughs> hey, there you go. A kid after my own heart. I love it. <laughs> it was too earlier today. <laughs> okay, we are we are truly cut from the same cloth in that case. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look at that. I see you're finally working on that paper. Good boy. When's it due? Last week. <laughs> there you go. There's There's my schooling in a nutshell right there. All right, so those are... Uh, okay. So I got him. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, shoot. Let me try this up here. All right. Yeah, so the edges are totally hosed, but I don't care about that at the moment. Just care about the top right now. Oh shoot, I'm putting the wrong things on there. Uh, it, if I don't do it before lunch tomorrow, I will get a C2 30, min, uh, 30 minutes detention. Wow. So wait, I, I never heard the term C2 before. Um, obviously not because I didn't get one, it's just we have a different term. I, yeah, I, I did more than my fair share of detention <laughs> in my schooling. <laughs> me either. <laughs> well, me either, uh, Hannibal. What me either uh, that you're 
uh, talking about being a student or talking about getting what it C2 means on Monday all right yeah but uh, so what does a C2 actually stand for is it actually I mean is it just a term or uh, so school suspension was the hip term for detention when I was in school <laughs> yeah I'm not gonna go into details on what I may or may not have done not that I have like any kids to be embarrassed by their old man but uh, yeah I did some stuff <laughs> nothing too terrible but yeah I, w I was not the ultimate angel I guess all right uh, let me check this guy as well yeah I think we're good good cool okay so then if we throw on an edge here ooh okay we definitely gonna fix that all right so we'll fix him and what about how about corner yeah ooh corner works good uh, warning uh, C1 is a warning C2 is 30 minutes uh, C3 is one hour C4 is two hour detention wow okay gotcha so you already got the warning right and now it's get it in there before you actually get the 30 minutes gotcha okay that makes sense you know, I think we just had the, for our school, it was just sort of like, to start off with the, the you suck, uh, you're a failure, uh, you're never going to mount anything. <laughs> I, I, I had the principal from uh, Back to the Future. No McFly has ever mounted to hill of beans in the history of Hill Valley. Mm. Principal Strickland. Jesus, didn't that guy ever have hair? Uh... They send in Poe, uh, C3, they send in, what, the police? Or is that PQ, PO? They send in a purchase order? C3, they send in PO. Uh, performance officer? Uh, <laughs> uh but um bum thank you tip your waitress <sighs> okay that was a reach I was I was thinking trying to be hip with like the popo or something like that but okay C3 they sent in PO yeah yeah my best buddy actually hates C3PO it's funny because of all the Star Wars characters he actually hates C3PO more than he does Jar Jar Binks which I just don't understand how that's humanly possible so do I. Really? We, we, we probably had that discussion before, right? Goldenrod. I'm okay with him. Uh, before, I think he was actually kind of like an, uh, sort of like a variation of Dr. Smith. Um, see, I'm on the, the Lost in Space cake there, watching with the, the, the boss there. Uh, before it was D1 is 10 minutes, uh, D2 was 30 minutes. That was... Uh, that was it until our school students, not me, wink, wink, misbehaved. <laughs> you hate them equally. Gotcha. Okay. Fair enough. Teach their own. All right. So the corner is good, but I do need to fix. Okay. What about him? Oh, no. He's too high by about a space. So let's fix that next. This bad boy. Right, editor. Boom. All right. So he's good. He was up by one. That's weird because I thought these guys. Oh, no. Okay. Good. So it was off. Like so. All right. So he's fixed. Yep. That's funny. I fixed the middle one, but not the end pieces there. Apply. Hey, hey. Yomonomo. Here we go. Nice. There you go. Good toss. 
All right, you gotta fix this bad boy. What's up? Not much, man. How you doing? What's going on? Ready for a good weekend? Uh, good, good. I am cool. You gonna do anything fun for the weekend? I'm gonna work. I know that's a shocker. Uh oh, that was a miss. Let's see. Oh shoot, I'm still in second place. I gotta fix that. Playing Holy Grail on Sunday. Oh nice. I fart in your general direction. Oop. I'll try my luck there. Um, in all my tests, I flop my spellings only. Yeah. I was a terrible speller, man. I was absolutely, I'm still am, you know, and now that we get like all the autocorrect, there you go. I'm tied for first again. Runes, I've completely tied you, buddy. Check out the high score. Yeah, back up there again. Uh, not really physics class tomorrow and C sharp, wait, uh, tomorrow, weekend? Uh, and C sharp advanced Java homework, jeez. Wait, how do you have class tomorrow on a Saturday? What kind of twisted school is that? Weekend class. Oh, that's crazy, man. Jeez. I mean, I could barely stay awake for the... Uh, oh, CS... Oh, got it. Okay. Really? They do that on the weekends? Fits your oh, gotcha. Okay, cool. The other day uh, is pelt uh, ceiling ceiling. <laughs> okay. Uh, played on Wednesday too yeah that's great so many great lines run away <laughs> neat <laughs> neat I haven't actually watched it in a bunch of years might be due uh oh wow, that's like two misses in a row let's see if that's right oop close uh, Netflix. Yeah. Uh, is it on there? I'm trying to think what I've been watching lately. Let's see. Um, oh, um, Hannibal. Yeah. So Amazon. I was watching uh, Forever. So Forever was one that like the first episode, I was kind of like, you know, I'm not really into this much. But then it got interesting. And I thought that show ended <laughs> really strong. Actually, I ended up, uh, yeah, enjoying that that one a lot, actually. I thought it was pretty creative. It, very, very like a Twilight Zone-esque kind of edge to it, which, of course, for me, that automatically boosts it. So I had a lot of fun on that one. All right, so let's see how I did here. All right, so we got this bad boy. Let's see how far off I am. Whoa. Hey, I might have nailed it. I think I nailed it. Oh, I'm just, look at that. It's hard to see, but the green line goes vertical right there. So I, I'm just like a pixel or two off. It's close though. Um, on, not, on Netflix, I have been watching the bid, Big Bad, uh, Big Bang Theory again. That's on Netflix? Really? I didn't know that. I didn't know it was on there. Really? Let's see. Wait, you sure it's on Netflix? I don't see it. Nah, I think you're lying to me. Oh, wait, 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 sorry. It was, oh, okay, I was talking to Hannibal. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, you're in London. So you probably, have, you, you got different shows that I don't have access to. So... I, I, I retract that. You probably do, and I don't. There you go. I forgot about that fact. There you go. Trust me. No, it's because Hannibal I was, uh, Hannibal was, was talking there for a second, and, and I know Hannibal is not <laughs> on the other side of the ocean, but, yeah, I just that's me trying to do four things at once and not paying attention. So that's cool. So that's I'm, I'm kind of jealous of that, right? I mean, it's, it's interesting how different countries have different stuff on the same, you know, platform all right so let me fix this this is so close just one little nudge up and he should be good 
All right, let's go. Got some physics like that, like that, and that should be enough. Apply. Try that. What I was watching, and uh, oh yeah, on uh, I got Hulu still for another month or two. Uh, I've been watching the the final season of The Good Place, which I really like that show. Which, and I hate to say it, man, whenever I like a comedy show, that's that's death. I know the show's gonna get canceled, but I like the first two seasons. Uh, Christian Bell's always funny to me, but I, I think the season three has done some interesting choices. All right, here we go. Come on, Penny, you can get it. Nice, perfect catch. All right. So let's go. All right, so we should be here. So if we bring this bad boy, deselect, reselect. And. Oh, we're still off by one. Okay. I guess it is per pixel basis. I, I didn't think it was, but I guess it is. So let's just do that one more time. Ah. Vert. See, look at that. So when I come back into it, it just had like a random tile selected, right? So when you do the like the mouse drag, it breaks. That's annoying. All right. One up. One up. And that's golden right there. Apply. Good. <laughs> He's on a roll. Nice. There you go. All right. Oh, my stomach's rolling. Should have more for lunch, man. I'm hungry. It's too early for dinner. <laughs> the glass yet again so I was hinting at it before but I so you know I do have more projects coming of course and with triple troubles you know it's you know because it's smaller scale and I've been you know working just me and then I have my artist Daniel the insanely talented artist Daniel who's Toss me breadcrumbs. He's tossed me new assets from time to time, and including that beautiful background. I love that thing, man. That's looking great. But um, so yeah, I'm still starting to gear up for the project that will follow this. I'm already starting to get the the wheels turning on that one, and that one finally, I'm actually, oh man, if everything falls into place, I'm actually gonna do that one proper and and get help. <laughs> so. I'm still trying to figure out my own place in that project. I mean, I, I, I think what I'll probably do is just handle the animation for sure and then guide the game design. But it's going to be interesting because I'm going to be stepping back, you know, and not doing everything like I've been doing for all my previous games. Uh, who knew that watching a video of a dog catching a disc would be so entertaining? <laughs> Uh-oh, it broke again. Sorry about that. Not sure why it does that occasionally, but all right. I'll restart. One second. She had to go drink some water, so just hang tight. Don't worry, the scores are still intact. Those. There you go. All right, and then I gotta, yeah, I gotta reactivate it here. I gotta like repoint it to the, the window. There it goes. And she's back. I'm not sure why it does that. Obviously, I coded something wrong. Probably an error in there somewhere, but I'll look at it later. But it is, it's is—it's—it's sort of like a very simple, I, I refer to it as like uh, a modern-day Laserdisc video game. Since that was my childhood, man. Playing the crap out of Laserdisc video games. I love those, you know, because all the games back then had really crappy graphics, and then you had Laserdisc and these beautifully animated uh Short films, basically. At least for like Don Bluth, right? The Dragon Slayer, which oh by the way, they're doing a Dragon Slayer movie. I just how did I miss this? He did an Indiegogo campaign for Dragon Slayer, and I completely missed. I would have paid for that stuff, man. I would have bought all the stuff he was offering, but completely missed that. Completely, I'm just so bummed. And I mean, it was like a year ago, you know, over a year ago, and all the goodies were all taken, right? I mean, like, sign, like, pencil tests and all this kind of stuff, but, oh, so bummed I missed that. But, yeah, Dragon's Lair, Space Ace, Dragon's Lair 2, Time Warp, uh, uh, Cliffhanger, which, once again, I think it's, right, 
there. Yeah, I think that's it. That's that's my uh, loop uh, Lupin from uh, uh, Lupin the Thief, which was used as for the cliffhanger video game. Which is funny because I think I mentioned the fact that I I knew the cliffhanger video game backwards and forwards for decades before I even realized that there was a, a movie that, that it pulled that footage from. Uh, it's weird because I am eight hours in front of you and my family does everything three hours later than people do in the UK, like dinner being at nine instead of six. Gotcha. I'm kind of the same way too. I mean, that's that's the way it is. You know, my wife, she works and, you know, by the time she gets home, we end up having like late dinners as well, but not quite... I don't know, depending on the... And then she she has activities and stuff out of the house, so we sometimes end up having some late dinners as well. So I understand how that is. Let's see. All right, so I think I've got all that in decent shape now. I, I guess I should be a good boy and fix all the side stuff because I have not yet. Let's see. So, for example... If I grab this bad boy. Oh, yeah, so he's way off. Look at that. All right. So, <coughs> excuse me. All right, so this is the one piece, and it looks like he needs to see how many pixels this is. Say that's uh, one, two, three on the top. Ooh, and a bunch here. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. All right, so I need to go down three on top and seven down below. All right, fix that one. This is truly the definition of tedious, isn't it? Oh, see, look at that. It does it again. I hate that stupid thing. Three and seven. Uh, me and my fellow... The cow friends uh, don't eat anything at lunch, but go home and eat lunch after school at three. Wow, I couldn't do that, man. I could not do that. If, I mean, if if I'd have missed uh, if I'd have missed lunch when I was, you know, young and in school, I would have just like collapsed. I, that's crazy. But I guess if you have your schedule shifted, right? I guess that makes sense. Two, three. That goes one, two. three. Three. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, it's just all the way down to the bottom, isn't it? Seven. All right, so that's going to be wrong. I'm going to have to pull that up. That should actually be up. Five, six. I'll say six is good. How about that? Uh, one meal a day, most days here. Uh... Okay, <laughs> is that just because you you go downstairs and you like grab all the leftover popcorn and just feast on that? Uh, I I couldn't do that, man. I mean, I you know I I have a small breakfast, but I mean I definitely look forward to lunch and look forward to dinner as well. Let's see, I run the whole day with without food until I go home. Jeez, man, that's impressive. I yeah, my metabolism could not take that, you know. My, my brain barely functions as is. And if I told it it wasn't getting food, I'm sure it'd pretty much go on a hunger strike. Pardon the pun. <laughs> All right, I cracked myself up on that one. Uh, nah, I just get a shift meal and fast until it... Got it. Uh, it's just natural for me. Okay. Wow. That's cool. I mean, everyone. I guess everyone's got their own schedule, but yeah. My wife knows that you know <laughs> if I don't get my dinner, I I get, you know, I get quiet. I get a little cranky sometimes, and she'll just look at me and she'll she'll just know, right? We we've been together for so long. She'll look at me and she'll just go, "You're hungry, aren't you?" <laughs> oh, not not like I even said anything, but she just knows, right? Yeah, I fast sometimes as well. Wow. Yeah, I've read about fasting. <laughs> Not anything I've ever tried myself. That's wild. So, I mean, so when you fast, I mean, is that, I mean, do you just like liquid or just like limited items you 
I mean, how, and I guess there's like a range, but I mean, you're talking to someone that's never fasted before in his life. To me, fasting is waiting six hours between a meal. So <laughs> if, if it's longer than six hours, then I'm asleep, right? All right. So let me fix this one like so. That should be correct. Apply. Let's try that. Uh, you can't have nothing. Okay, yeah. Oh. Sunrise to sunset. Yeah, go back and watch uh, the old uh, absolutely fabulous TV show, Joanna Lumley, where she hasn't eaten anything since like the 70s. <laughs> so she's her entire existence is alcohol, cigarettes, and drugs. <laughs> That's what keeps her alive for 30 years. I drink stuff. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. All right, see this snaps. There he goes. So that's looking perfect. And then this one, he's actually good. It's up here that's wrong. Actually, that's wrong. That should be a corner piece. Why is that not a corner piece? Oh, my rule tile's failing me here. Oh, no, it's not. No, sorry. Actually, that that's not... That's my fault because I'm putting these onto a one tile. Excuse me. Uh, but I am naturally tall and big. Oh, wow. Okay. So, yeah, you can stand that long. Not like average size, but I've always kind of run on the thin side, so I don't have much to fall back on. Okay, six foot and I weigh quite a bit. Okay, you got me then. Uh, though once in a while I ninja a cookie from the <laughs> the, the cooling rack <laughs> and ninja I like that right you, you, like this this middle image you're just gonna go and <laughs> cookie time <laughs> all right so why is that not correct that should actually be something totally different crap all right, so this is a good example of uh, the rule tile failing me here because that should not be that thing. Oh, is it because – wait, wait. No, it's because I did this, didn't I? There it is. It's because I overwrote it. Okay, overwrote it. <laughs> I'd be like that sometimes. Yeah. All right, so let me fix that one. So corners, that's okay. So if I do this. Yeah. All right, so definitely need to fix all these guys. But I think that's actually pretty close. I can only start playing with it a little bit. I can always fix it and just have it snap into place correctly. Uh, last time was a fall because they were cookies for the service bars, so they are softer than the ones we serve. It got me trouble, but I succeeded. <laughs> oh, fail. Sorry, it was a fail. Got it. So, so they were softer. So it slipped, but you still got it, right? It was like... All right. Yeah, that's what happens when I have a text in the corner and I'm too stubborn to wear my reading glasses. I get fall instead of fail. <laughs> the kitchen manager got a kick out of it. Oh, no. Oh, not good. Back down to 50. Sorry, buddy. I told you, man. It's all on the wrist. Here. Like this. Come on, Penny. Don't let me down, baby. It's funny. I say that. I'm surprised she didn't actually come up to the door. Ooh, terrible throw, and she still got it behind her. All right, so now I'm a f there. You go, back in first place again, where I belong. Uh, you started playing DayZ again. Yeah. Did it uh, have? Has it changed over the years? I mean, have they done any big updates? Uh, tossed it to the crease out by accident. <laughs> I wish. I wish there's some way I could do that. Um. You can base build. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so that's cool that they're still expanding that. But uh, 
Yeah, my boat, one of the things I would love to do is actually have like a skill part added to it, but I, obviously I can't because the stream, there's at least a three to seven second delay offset. So that doesn't work in terms of timing. And I know that I can do panels in the Twitch stuff, but that's all like WebGL stuff, right? Which is way beyond my skill set. So as a result, right now it's still stuck on the just doing it randomly. Oh, that guy's broken, isn't he? Wow, he's seriously broken. Okay, so let me fix him as well. All right. Where is he? This guy. There he goes. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, my kingdom for coordinates displayed. This one I'm just gonna have to guess. I'm gonna guess there. See how close I am. Apply. <clears throat> it's still as good and entertaining. Oh, oh, the game. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. it it's uh, it literally. I th I think I spent a full day shooting all the footage and compiling it, and half a day just slapping the, the program together. But yeah, it's just it, it was one of those goofy ideas that just sat in my head for forever. Oh, so close. I was just off by one. I think that's just one pixel. Yeah. All right. One more and then we're good. This guy. So, boom. Boom. Ply. There he goes. It was worth it. Oh, cool. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> you do seem addicted, and that's good. I like that. No! Ah, sorry about that. Yeah, now the game sucks, right? <laughs> Alright, let me update and see if it snaps. There it is. Perfect. Alright, let me come out of here and hit Control s to make sure that I don't lose any of my work. Hit control S repeatedly because I'm paranoid. <clears throat> and because it still shows the asterisk up there. Save. That's a bug. <clears throat> it was the way I started to talk in the chat. Oh. <laughs> mm. She was distracted. You just got her off her game. All right. So let's see what we got here. all good through here that's behaving nicely oh another thing I did too so I showed you I have like the lean right I showed you that but the other thing I had to do too was uh, cut the shadow right I have no idea how the the professionals do it so my idea was I have like five ray casts I can show it right up here so I have five ray casts that come off the player so I just look at which ray casts are actually striking the ground, right? And that's kind of also how it determines the lean, right? So if it come off of there, right? Once it goes there, if there's three not making contact, then I go into the lean. And if I go even further, then the lean goes a bit further, right? But then I also use that for taking the shadow and just shrinking it in real time. So it's the same shadow image. I'm just scaling it, you know, on the fly. Uh, how would you do the lean? Yeah, so yeah, that's it. So you can actually see all I'm doing is I'm kind of like ignoring the, so I'm just offsetting. It's kind of a cheat. You can see that the character is getting a little off of the ray casts, but because it's not going to strike anything, uh, I don't think anyone will ever notice. You know, and then what I do is I kind of just slide them downward like that. And then I also kind of cheat them back into place too, because you can see that little pop, and that's it's only if you're like tapping it, but it's because it wants to be in a different spot. But if it's in its normal spot, there's a gap, right, which looks really bad. Oh, look at that! You're climbing back up. Look at that! Get back in there. So, all right. So what is checking is just see there's smoothness, and it looks like we're in good shape. Good. All right. So. 
probably need to I, I need to clean the edges at some point, but I guess for right now. Nice. <laughs> You're addicted. <laughs> okay. But at this point, I think I can start actually playing with some level building. So let's go back into my level. And turn the backgrounds. Oh, there's actually they're on. Okay. So now we can start doing something for for real. Um, oh, you know what? I can do the override too. Let me do that. So we have the start center. Uh, you are one of the only non Bengal to say my name as close as my mom would. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, you know, it's considering how much I screw stuff up. Thank you. That's that's very kind. I'm, I'm glad I came close. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, can you tiles? platform so in theory if I take this bad boy slap him in here like so and go like this oops oh crap I got I gotta do the corners I forgot about that I'm missing all the corners oh crap I'm not nearly as done as I thought I was So, for example, I, I need to do the corner piece for this guy and for all four edges as well. And also the round edges. Let's see. No, no, no. I have the round edges. Okay. I had that in a different place in the previous world. <clears throat> so here, I should be able to go like this. and There. Okay. So that's good. All right, so for him, do that. All right, and then what I can do is just go across like so, and then add some randomness manually. Kind of mix it up like so. One more. There he goes. Nice and random. <laughs> oh, hey, you're 70. Oh, but I guess you were up to 90 there a second ago, weren't you? Sorry about that. All right. Come across here, like so. There. All right, so that fixes center, but I'm not sure. It's actually not center that I start with, is it? It's probably left. Nice. Yeah, it's left. So let me fix left. What I'm trying to do is fix the fact that the... Uh, the, it doesn't mesh for the one below and above and that always bugs me so let me fix these guys since I have some of this stuff working now time my platform like so <laughs> it's a dog she knows who feeds her that's very true and it's funny because any any minute now she's going to come up and start Bug him. I actually have a little fence there, a little doggy gate to keep her from coming in and bugging me. Otherwise, she'd be like all over me, kind of going, do you understand what time it is? It's getting close to food time. Come on, stupid human, feed me. All right. Just doing some randomization. So I, I, I like my randomization much better <laughs> than Unity's. Like that. And then I think this one. Mix him in here a little bit. There. Good. There you go. That's much more random. Gotta go. All right. Thanks for hanging out, man. Thanks for coming around. Have yourself a fantastic weekend. Hopefully you can come out next Friday. Otherwise, you got me on Discord. You know, I you chat on there. So, <laughs> one last throw. <laughs> yeah, it's super late for you. I know that, man. So, um, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, there you go. That's a way to end it right there. Congrats on this. The good toss. Have yourself a great weekend, buddy. Uh, hopefully see you next Friday. Otherwise, uh, I'll see you on Discord. 
Uh, speaking of Discord, I'll do a blatant plug. Adios. All right, here you go. So for those of you that have not joined me on Discord, please do. There is my, there's the link. It's down below, but it's also right there in the chat. Um, I'm always pretty much online. That's the joys of being a workaholic. So if you want to chat with me about anything, especially game stuff, movie stuff, TV stuff, uh, please come on over and hang out on my Discord server. And you can reach me there. All right. So do that. Good. So now left is pretty much taken care of. I still got to address that corner. I'll come back to that. That's just cosmetic. Uh, did you watch Chernobyl? Oh, absolutely, man. Uh, I was lucky enough to have the screener for that. And I was, like, as soon as it was coming out, man, I would jump on the next one. Uh, yeah, that was fascinating. I I'm not crazy about how they consolidated characters. I mean, I understand why they did it for dramatic purposes. But by and large, a lot of the uh, the real-life characters were, were front and center. So I appreciate that. And it was fascinating to see, uh, you know, I mean, I, I remember I was you know, around, you know, for the first go round when it really did happen. But um, it's fascinating to see the choices and the, the, the missteps that were, were done. And I, I, I saw a documentary uh, a couple of years ago on it, but just to see it acted out in dramatic fashion was pretty amazing. Although it's kind of strange that they were all British, <laughs> you know, virtually everyone in the entire cast were all, all British. You know, there's a bunch of character actors that I recognize from all the other stuff, a lot of BBC stuff. Which is kind of strange, but uh, still very enjoyable. How about you, man? Did you see it? And if you did, have you seen that there's a documentary that talked about uh, modern... Uh, loved it, yeah. There's a modern-day documentary, too, that talks about how they're dealing with it now, right? Because all the stuff they put in there is now deteriorated, and they had to come up with a concept of how to cover it again. And there was the whole thing behind that, you know, showing how that got put together. Uh, let's see. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, um, I can't remember if it was... I, I think it was on Netflix. I'm pretty sure it was Netflix. Let's see if I can find it. Because it's definitely worth it. Oh, and then we got a new season of Peaky Blinders just popped up. Um... Let's see. Here we go. Found it. Oops. No, I don't want to start it. I just want the info on it. Jerk. Let's see. Copy link address. There it goes. There it is. That, that was a really interesting, fascinating documentary that sort of is, is a good bookend to watching the Chernobyl miniseries that focused on the 80s, and you get to see this documentary of how we're still in that situation. But, uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, so it popped up on my Netflix feed. There is a, a new Peaky Blinder season. Boy, I'm totally excited about that. I'm going to do my best not to binge the crap out of that, but my usual ritual is that I work like crazy all day and then an hour before bed I stop working and watch something on Netflix or Amazon so that way I can kind of like unwind and try and shut the brain down but <clears throat> yeah it might be Peaky Blinders for the next week or so because I really enjoyed the last season and I'm curious to see how they take it from there alright so he's good so let's go back here and just fix the underbelly of this bad boy there he goes So, I'm going to fix this one like that. This one will do maybe, oops, missed like that. All right, so this one, we got to do that. Just go across with the blank one. Oh, no, that's stupid. Here you go, this one. Just put something in there, like so. And I, I was, I'm not going to spend too much time on this because this, this is going to change anyways. I'm just really jonesing to make the level connect properly. Is that me? 
Witch TV is calling me on Discord. Um, I'm not sure who that is or why they're calling me, <laughs> so I had to decline. If that's one of you guys, I'm sorry about that. Let me know. Uh, oh, okay. Boom. Oh, just got a Unity invite. So, uh, one of the perks of living here in Vegas is there's a uh, annual show called G2E, which is sort of like E3 but with casino games. And I, I pretty much go every year. Uh, it's easy for me to get a ticket since I am a game developer. It's not that hard to, to get in the door. But I love going just because it's fun to... It's the only time you can ever play like slot machines where they're literally rigged, right? So you can see all the demo game, all the uh, bonus games and all that kind of stuff, right? And I, I just, I love playing it just so you can actually see what all the bonus stuff is. I mean, you're not playing for cash, of course, right? But just to see all the new technology and what's coming. So, and Unity's there because they're big in the whole uh, real money gaming stuff. Uh, and apparently, uh, according to the email I got, they are changing the pricing scheme because they were not cheap. Uh, I've got some friends that work for some of the companies here in Vegas doing the, the, the real money gaming stuff. And yeah, getting a real money license was not a inexpensive endeavor. But uh, so yeah, I'm gonna meet up. I just got an invite, so I'm gonna go there. I guess it's next week, isn't it? Let's see. Is that, oh yeah, it is. Yeah, I'll go by there next weekend. And uh, go do that. And sometimes they have like little stands where they have some food stuff too. That doesn't suck. Although they're getting smaller. <laughs> I mean, I can't complain. I mean, it's you know, I'm not. It's free, except for parking, which you have to pay for here in Vegas now. Parking used to be free. All right, so let's do like underside like this, like so, and we'll fix that one later. Uh, if there's actually Discord team that uh, should. I do? Account rather than sending chain mail. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Yeah, okay, I'll come back to that. Cool. Lots of stuff going on. Lots of stuff going on. So, um, so yeah, I'm also, as I said, I'm, I'm, the the next project that I'm starting to put the wheels in motion on there. Uh, starting to look at bring on help for that, and that is, yeah. That is a whole new ball of wax. That is something different. There we go. So, look at that. Nice and fused. That's what I was shooting for. So, back to being flush again. So, it's not obvious where the uh, the levels terminate. Oh, shoot. But I did have the background turned off, didn't I? Let me correct that. Background. Try that again. All right. Let's see. It's a little busy, actually. I guess it's okay. Let's play with that, if I can. Background. Make sure that I don't screw anything up. Like, usually with Unity, anything you adjust at runtime reverts back as soon as you stop. But I think adjusting the color on tiles stays with it so I'm being a little careful here let's go lighter let's say that's boring on green at that point how does that work let's see let's see yeah it's pretty distinctive, I think. I think once I get some shape in them, I think that'll be okay. All right, this guy's bugging me. He dies. Squish. All right. Yeah, you see the gem actually kind of stuck away from it because I don't think I've corrected the... Uh, I think that's the case, that I haven't corrected the underside of the collision on these guys yet. Yeah, you see it's just the default collision, which is doing the outside of it which is a little too generous it's kind of interesting how if you don't give it stuff it'll kind of guesstimate what it thinks it is the right thing which is not bad 
it's not a terrible guess, but I don't think there's any way that you can automate. Or maybe you can. Let's see. Edge radius of z zero. Wow. So I have the edge radius set to zero, yet it's still like a full pixel separated. I wonder if that can go negative. Nope. <laughs> All right. So now that I decided I actually like that color, let me make sure that I got him saved as well, like so. So in case it does revert back. Let's see. I can't remember if tiles saved the color or not. Let's see. Yep, it did. I think it did. Or am I wrong? No, it didn't. Let's see. No, okay. Oh, it's more orangey. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to do that. Stop. Right here. Come on. Background. That's what I wanted. Like so. Done. Alright. Cool. Alright, I'm going to duck out for another little quick restroom break. But hang tight, and I'll be right back. All right, and we're back. All right, you know what? I've totally neglected this. I haven't done a bombing run all day. Let's correct that. I got a bunch of people down there. Everyone's gonna fly around. There you go. <laughs> all right. One sec here. All right. So, what is up with Twitch? All right. I gotta rant. I gotta get in my soapbox here. So currently it says I have zero viewers, but according to this stat, no, I see quite a few. <laughs> so I see six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, four, fifteen, but it still shows zero. I don't know why it does that to me. But then it shows five over here, so maybe it's just Streamlabs. All right, never mind. <laughs> I'll quit while I'm behind. Okay. So I guess I only got half an hour left. Um, I can't sleep. I need to play Dostas. <laughs> oh, you did in the same line. I think you gotta like do it in a separate line. I I think the uh, my little program when it grabs it, it's grabbing the whole line there. So try it again. There you go. I guess I should parse it better. There you go. <laughs> Young man, do you know how late it is? You should be asleep. Yeah, when I was a little kid, it's funny. I was fortunate enough to actually have a, a TV in my room. My When I was younger, that was actually a big deal. But, uh, yeah, my thing was, like, I was supposed to go to bed by, like, 10.30, I think, or 11 on the weekends, right? 
But I always wonder to watch Saturday Night, Saturday Night Live. Can't say it, but I love to watch it. Saturday Night Live. So I used to do this trick where I'd leave the TV on with the volume low, right? But that would be like lights out and like curled up, right? And just with the eyes ready to close. So if the door opened, I'd just kind of like close my eyes and it looked like I fell asleep with the TV on, right? So if you, you know, if it never got checked, then I got to watch a big chunk of Saturday Night Live. But, you know, at a certain point, any moment, the door may open, TV goes off, and I have to, like, accept it. But that was a pretty conniving scheme for a young kid. <laughs> My mom would probably slap me if she knew I was awake. <laughs> oh, this sounds like bribery now. What's it worth to you to not have this information? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, it's my fault for making uh, Penny such an addictive game. But she's still not up here. Usually at this point, yeah, we're at 5.30. Yeah, definitely at this point, she's normally completely bugging me. You know, wanting the real thing to happen out there. Toss the disc for. All right. So, I guess, let me do a little more cleanup. So, I only got about half an hour left. I'm going to pack it in myself. So I guess I could just do a little more cleanup on these tiles, which I need to do either way. 10 pounds. <laughs> Deal. There you go. I'll fly over and uh, uh, go ahead and fetch it. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, no. Oh, that wasn't pretty. <laughs> so... You don't see it here, but you, okay, just like on the edge of the, that's like $12. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you can just see, see like the hint of the chair there, you know, next to Penny, right, on the edge of frame. So the t there's a table there, and her thing she loves to do is she likes running around the table and then running into the grass. That's why she's always running at that angle, right? But it's like, uh, I don't know, a few days ago, she was just so into it. She, you know, every time I go out there, she just goes nuts because she loves doing it so much. But she, she does a loop. Sometimes it's like a warm up loop around the table. But she was doing one where she's running so fast. She, she's literally like leaning into the turn, right? I mean, I've never seen her run this fast. And then she comes by the table, and I'm just thinking to myself, she's running a little fast. I don't know how she's gonna like clear the table and get past the the edge of the house. And she didn't. <laughs> she just like skidded. She was running so fast. She just like skidded right into the side of the house and kept going. <laughs> like nothing happened, right? <laughs> She's like an indestructible dog. Uh, I hear my mom moving in the kitchen. Uh oh. Shh, 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 shh. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll whisper. <laughs> I gotta hide in my brother's room. <laughs> Yes, what can I say? Penny is truly an addiction. Sorry about that, man. Didn't mean to get you hooked. <laughs> if your mom comes in, just say that you're discussing Unity stuff, you know? Mom, we're, we're trying to get up to speed so I can get, you know, make Unity games and make lots of money, right? You can, you know, you'll love that. That'd be great. I'm not just sitting here watching this dog catch a frisbee. <laughs> Uh-oh. He went radio silent. I think he got busted. <clears throat> All right, so let's switch back into custom physics. Nope, he's back. <laughs> Wait, my my mom would slap me, and she would, and then she would slap me. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so to go back into all these bad boys and fix them up. All right, so Hannibal was mentioning Joker, but wasn't there something else that was coming out this weekend that was worth? I thought there was something. Um, no, maybe not. Let's see. Really? Ad Astra is still a Judy? Oh, yeah, Judy, okay. Yeah, uh, Judy Garland, um, as my wife says, Miss She Who, Who Sucks on Lemons. <laughs> and Lucy in the Sky. Okay, wait. Actually, I don't know Lucy in the Sky. ¿Qué es este? 
Lucy in the sky without the diamonds. Ooh, the 36 on Metacritic. <laughs> At Astra. Yeah, I know. Uh, I would try to explain, but I would be on the ground before anything comes out of my mouth. <laughs> oh, oops. I got commercials playing here. Um, oh, Natalie Portman, yet in another miss, huh? A strong woman who... Oh! Oh, Lucy in the Sky. Actually, okay, stupid trivia. This finally came out. So, uh, Lucy in the Sky... If you okay, if you go back and watch the streams that I I did, um, <laughs> what, like, you know, ages ago, um, I went to go work. Um, yeah, actually, I guess it was when I was doing the stream, wasn't it? Yeah. So um, if you remember when I was doing the stream at Blue Man Gaming, Blue Screen, sorry, not Blue Man, Blue Screen Gaming, uh. I was working at Zoic, uh, this old place where I, I do all my vi visual effects work at. I was They actually hired me to work on Lucy in the Sky, that movie. I was supposed to work on that, but the movie got delayed, and I ended up working on Santa Clarita Diet instead, right? They just threw me that instead. I, I, I worked a little bit on uh, Future Man as well, some animation bits for that, but that's funny. So that was the movie I was supposed to actually do animation for, but because it took so, too long... I ended up not working on it at all, but ouch, at 36 on Metacritic. Maybe I'm kind of glad I, I dodged that one. Yeah, it looked interesting. Yeah. Uh, Friday is the best day. You do streams for me, so I'm not hit so hard. <laughs> I'm a buffer. I'm a human buffer. I'm glad to, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my Actually, my dad was big on corporal punishment my dad he, he always wore a belt right he always had this really thick belt right and he was not afraid to unbuckle and pull it out right and use it and i mean the sad truth is i always earned it you know i'm not saying like you know he did terrible things i'm saying that you know if i could like do the marty mcfly thing and go back in time and see myself as a kid i'd be looking at my dad kind of going no seriously put your elbow into it man I earned that, <laughs> you know, but it got to the point where he could just like threaten me by just going like, he would take the, the, the belt, just the end of it and kind of flip it open, kind of go poof, almost like, you know, how a gunslinger like pulls off the strap off of the gun. He would just like go, poof. he wouldn't pull the, he wouldn't take the belt off. Just do that one little flap release. Kind of like, there's your warning, right? <laughs> you know, and I usually pretty much straighten up pretty fast at that point. But, yep, I definitely, I definitely got my, uh, <laughs> my hindquarters warmed up a few times over the years. And, like I said, definitely earned. I'm not trying to say I was a terrible kid, but, no, that's pretty much it. I was a terrible kid. My mom would hit me with wooden spoon, broom, and the most dangerous of all, the hand. <laughs> You're just wondering how she gets like that much speed, right? And that much velocity. <laughs> Not on your butt, though. Okay. Oh, geez. Just whatever piece of skin she can make contact with. <laughs> just on your face. Ouch. Jeez. That's pretty harsh. Oh, shoot. I want that one. There. Finally. Or back. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I probably got a little of that only because I would, like, twist and flail. Let's see. Really? That's weird. I'm not sure who this witch TV is, but they keep trying to call me on Discord. I mean, I'm, I, I got no problem with you, like, reaching out to me, but some context would be nice. I, you know, <laughs> like, who are you? Why are you calling me? Uh, she doesn't really hit me anymore. It doesn't hurt that much anymore. <laughs> oh. You've built up a tolerance? All right, here you go. I'll be nice. Don't attack me. All right. Oops. Here's the real thing. 
here in a second. You want to come up and say hello? You want to come up here? <laughs> yeah, she's she's totally nutty right now. <laughs> she, all right, that's the real Penny. <laughs> yep. It's like a pinch. <laughs> all right. Did you enjoy that? No, I, I, I got 20 minutes. Just give me, okay, 18. You got 18 minutes, all right? Just give me 18 minutes, and then I'll come down, and I'll, I'll feed you or throw the disc, all right? I had to say, uh, once she hit me so hard that the spoon broke and hurt herself, <laughs> and get more beatings. Wow. That's pretty brutal, man. What? Just wait. You, 20 minutes. So crazy. Come here. Oh, jeez. Ah. Ah. She's eating my ear off. Ow. Okay. You get. Yeah, you need your nails trimmed. And don't lick me on the mouth. That's nasty. <laughs> nope. Okay. D-I-S-C, not D-A-S-K. And that's probably me just doing it wrong. But, I don't know. It's sort of, like, more common these days, I think, to see it as C. <laughs> no. No, because she's... You see how nutty... She's eating my face already. If I said the word Frisbee right now, then she... Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, great. See? No, not yet. 17 minutes. Come on, you can wait 17. My spelling. <laughs> no, actually, I think D-I-S-K is actually the proper way to spell it. I think it's just sort of become more common to use the D-I-S-C incorrectly. Sort of like uh, site, S-I-T-E versus S-I-G-H-T. You know, I think it's just becoming more accepted. Even though it's wrong. There you go. Uh, how do you spell color without the U? Yes, we uh, in this side, this side of the ocean, we definitely do it without the U. Um, or if you're like me and you're you're you grow up in the deep south, you just spell it C L R or something. <laughs> yes. Yep. No U. C O L O R. Yep. All right. Oh, nice, man. You're up to... Wow, you're up to 110. Look at that. You can jump to third place. All right. I might have to cut this short just because Penny is getting really nutty. She's not whining yet, so that's a plus. But any minute, she's going to start whining. And then she'll get my other dog barking like she likes to do. So I may have to pack it in here in a minute. But I'm kind of just doing some boring stuff anyways. And just cleaning up that, that physics. All right. Oh, she's got a ball in here. So she's trying to get me to play with the ball. <laughs> well, Booba, you better, you better just get one more in there if you want to. Because I think I'm going to be like wrapping up here in a couple minutes. Uh, in my English class, I can't use uh, the word this, and it is so hard. It expects us to do two essays a week. School just started. Okay. I'm so far out of the loop, man. I don't even know uh, uh, schedules anymore. Um, you can't use the word this. Like, T-H-I-S, this. You cannot say this. So you just have to, what, that and the other? You just have to use that instead? Oh, look at that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's, he's trying to hit that first place mark in my essay. Yeah, so you cannot use the word uh, this in the essay. That seems kind of arbitrary. What is it about the word this that makes it, like, not a chosen word? Oh, here we go. Is he going to drop? Or is he going to... Oh! That's it. Tied for first. 
Okay, yeah, so it isn't... Okay, so it's not like I was missing something. It just It's a kind of weird, arbitrary, kind of quasi-punishment thing. I feel like I'm in the Matrix. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, look at that. Right there. All right. Last one. I'm going to wrap it up here. And we can't use the word shows as well. This and shows. Just some weird, arbitrary kind of thing. That is strange. Yeah, here we go. Big moment. Oh, that's it. You got the lead. Congratulations. Let's see it. There you go. You own first place. No, it's just your teacher. That is so bizarre. It's like some weird phobia or something, right? <laughs> you own first now. <laughs> All right, I think that's a good place to cut it off right there. You don't want to go again. You want to hang on your first place. It'll be there next go around. The uh, the high score table does remain in intact. She's like 70. Interesting. So she just has some really weird quirks. Huh. Mm. All right. Well, my boob, man, try and get yourself some sleep. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go play fetch with Penny. I'm going to throw the Frisbee. Frisbee? Frisbee? Penny, come here. Frisbee? Oh, she, won't, she wants to run off now. Come here. Come here. Oh, see, now that I've said the F word, she's just totally confused. All right, Mabu, man. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. I appreciate you hanging out with me for quite a while. All right, take care of yourself. Have a fantastic weekend. Everyone else as well, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Uh, I will be back here next Friday, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, as I mentioned before, do I still have the link? Nope, that's the wrong link. Uh to discord one more time if you want you can always reach me on my discord channel please feel free to come over and hang out on my discord server uh otherwise i will see you guys next friday have yourselves a fantastic weekend hopefully i get some more <laughs> progress than i did last week if i don't break anything all right <laughs> like you all right there you go all right that's it take care of yourselves and i'll see you guys next week all right adios